All right. So this one's a doozy. This one, uh, again, anonymous. This one says, back in 2017, I was really Great in year. My- great year. Sorry. Yeah? That was a great year. Okay. For this Bro, kind 16, of 17. Psh, cream into the car. Whatever you call it. <laughs> Yo, you was on your city girl shit. <laughs> I said it. I said something right. I said something crazy. <laughs> Bro, like cream, I, you said you said cream with a cock or some shit. That's what you said. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> <laughs> he said what? He said cream with a cock. Cream, 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 cream that a you know what I'm saying? <laughs> cream <laughs> oh, oh shit, shit bro. Shit. Oh man. What's the correct way to say it? Oh, what did my wig come shit, off, man? <laughs> that should be my back hurt, goddamn. Hey yo. <laughs> that's a, that's 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 the only that's Ooh. that's the only thing you're not supposed to say after that comment. Yeah, <laughs> you uh, know? It's it's, 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 a, it's, it's my lungs. <clears throat> they hurt. It's a it's cream of the crop. <laughs> Cream of the crop, yeah, one hundred percent. Seventeen, sixteen. Cream of the crop. Cream de la creme. You know what I'm saying? Cream de la creme. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so back in 2017, I was really in my city girl era. Mm. I was in a pretty fun situationship with this guy I met through Greek life. I'm assuming that that's like a like a yeah, uh, the people that just be stepping <laughs> every fucking party. Yeah, you know it's same move. Different yeah. organization, same move yeah. though. Just okay. but they tell their own story through it. It's like you they, they come up and they dance and they be like, What's your name? I'm Knucklehead. Yeah. <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. No, that's yeah. that's that's Tom the Yard. Oh, it's not right? like that. What's the what's the difference? Not, that's that's not because like what they do is strolling and the other people is like uh I know it's like a more intense, it's not a stroll. They're okay. not strolling. They're stomping. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So this apparently this girl was stomping a lot. Um, it says, with this guy I met through Greek life, the sex was bomb and the dick was beautiful. Oh, Man. wow. Man. That's a good compliment. That's a that's a great uh, adjective. Are you right, Stephen? Adjective? I've never, mm-hmm. I've never gotten such a compliment in my life. Oh, for real? Beautiful? That's- beautiful is crazy. Yeah, you sh- and she she accompanied it with it was bomb and beautiful. That way, it's I, get, I get pretty, but that's why I got a little kid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like nah, wait. <laughs> I'm gonna, <laughs> fuck. I'm fuck. Fuck. I'm fuck. Throw this episode keep away. It, keep it moving. Keep it. Just keep it moving. <laughs> you sure? You sure you uh, wasn't a priest for Halloween, bro? Keep it pushing. Yeah. It says uh, beautiful and bomb. The combination is acceptable. If she just yeah. says it's beautiful, that might. You know what I'm saying my emphasize maybe it's not as endowed, you know what I'm saying, but the bomb and beautiful combo, perfect choice of she words. Yes, power and meaning. Yeah. yeah. Salute to you. Salute to you. Perfect. <laughs> beautiful choice of words. Also, the guy was cute and had a septum. A septum? Is that this thing? Yeah, that's the yeah. one in the middle, the one the bull. <clears throat> so also this guy was cute and had a septum. So he's a little, so he's like extra sexy. Okay. So obviously I caught feelings, even though I liked him, I was still single, aka the pussy is single. So one weekend I ended up going to Atlantic City for my friend's birthday. Every time I go to Atlantic City, I either black out or I fuck. Salute. That weekend, I did both. <laughs> Get fucking give me the bro. That's that's True. that's that's the life. That's the life. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, I like her city girl shit. I like her. Yeah, that's fine. Um, uh, this weekend I did both, and apparently went raw too, because guess who ended up preggies, preggies, pregnant. I couldn't tell you who that man in Atlantic City was. Don't know his name. Don't know what he looks like. What I do know is that this seemed like a good opportunity to make things serious with my fuck buddy. So wait, you about to use? Hold on, <laughs> hold, hold on. There's on. there's more to this, but let's pause. Where there. is this going? Yo, yo, hold on. 
the way this is reading is really wild. This is this, this is you end up on Jerry Springer. The way this is reading is you about to do somebody extremely dirty. For 18 years, Kenya West said it, you know what I'm saying? Damn, on the 18th year, you find out it wasn't his. That's crazy, man. I could never. Um damn, I'm like taking it back. All right. Uh this story started off so good too. Like, yeah, yeah. I was on her side off. in the beginning. Yeah, we was like, yeah, oh, you man. go, girl. I was you really go, girl. rooting for her, son. Now it seems to take a turn. Oh my god. Hey, but that's how every horror movie starts. Yeah. Uh, no. so where I leave off. Uh, getting serious with the fuck buddy. Things was, uh, so the, taking the opportunity to the uh, to things to get serious with my fuck buddy. We were already raw dogging it, anyways. And he would believe it was his. I contemplated starting a life with my fuck buddy and probably some other man's baby. Last sentence is, I ended up terminating the pregnancy because I got worried of being judged by my mom. L-O-L. I don't get it. <laughs> this motherfucker said, I don't get it? Like, you didn't understand? Like, I don't get that plot twist. Like, wow. you scared of your mom judging you? Why not not fucking tell her? Hello? Well, yeah. No, that's where I'm... Hold on. First of all, we're not judging. We're not judging our listeners. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're a friend of ours, regardless of the situation. Bro, you I do. fuck with you. You say you fuck and you get drunk. I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Put, put me, put me, put me in again. Put me in again. <laughs> you can put your right number. Here's my number. Right here <laughs> is my <second> here. <laughs> so, so no judgment mm-hmm. here. It's a wild story, so it's gonna take us a moment. But no judgment. We, you know, what I'm saying you're you're a listener. Nah, bro. Shout out to you, you. yo. I fuck with you even more because you know what you wanted in life and you went and got it by all means hey, necessary. Listen, that's, that, that's a beautiful thing, John. You found the bright side to the story. Come on, son. I don't on, I don't son. judge you for thinking for a moment. For a moment. I could just I could trap this guy that I really like right now. For a moment, you thought about it. I don't judge you for thinking about it, right? I judge you for for doing it, is what I'm judging you for. Because People think crazy things. People think wild That's thoughts. That's true. So uh, I'm not going to judge somebody by what they're thinking, what their thoughts are. I'm going to judge them by their actions. Give me an example actions. of a what thought you had. What thought that I had? Uh, wow. well, I, already, I already told you my in, intrusive thoughts. That I have a lot of intrusive thoughts. Yeah. So like sometimes I just, I just walk by somebody. I'm like, imagine I just punch them straight in the face right now. That'd be crazy. I don't do it though. I'm saying I don't do it. You know what I'm saying also, um, I thought about uh, I, th- I thought about free health care for all, but I'm we I don't do it. I'm saying I'm not doing it. You know I'm saying that's crazy. What? That's nuts. Help us make money. Um, but yeah, so I'm not judging you, uh, listener, for that. I would have judged you if you went through with it. Now, the one judgment I can throw your way though is at the end. It sounded like. The only reason the only reason you didn't do it was because of what your mom would have thought. I mean, but also we have to we don't we don't know the age of this person, right? Because being like 16, 17. At least or, at least 21. If you're going to Atlantic City, at yeah, least 21. Be, oh yeah, at least 21. So at this okay, so we can hypothetically say that around this story took this place around the, uh, at the age of 20. Uh, 21's not an adult. I'm gonna tell you she, that. She right sounds now. 24-ish. No cap. That's when so this, people start going crazy, like with the partying, the living life, not thinking about the future. Well, this was, this maybe. Was, they said 2017, so they must have been 21 at around 2017. It doesn't matter. They're an adult now. At the at the time of the story, we, that's what we're talking about now. They were 21 at the time of the story. Yeah, right. You're still not a t- you're not an adult at 21, right? I feel like it's fair for some of the biggest fears for you to have is your parent at that age. You know what I'm saying? Especially as you know. uh uh, it depends. It depends. If you separated from your parents at a young age, you don't need approval from your parents. 
I can't. Yeah, but that, I, that, I don't that, think that, I don't think that's a crazy part about the story. I can't. Su- I can't support that. I can't support that. I can. I can. I can support the thought. I can support the thought, and you're not doing it. I appreciate you not doing that. But the part where it's like, yo, I'm not doing that because my mom. That's crazy. That's crazy. Know. Yo, but salute. Salute still, to you. I still feel like the you're a wild world. girl. You're a wild girl, and I would love to be friends with you. Like I would love to. Talk As a matter of fact, story. I would love to have you on the pod so you could explain that story better to us. What we would this, definitely cover your face, change your voice. No way, we, we got great editing. I was, I was gonna say they were anonymous, so I don't know if they want to do that. <clears throat> but um, my thing is right. Yeah. With, in, closing, in closing, John, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not judging. I uh, I feel like you had to do what you had to do to survive. And, you know, as Spider-Man, I do the same thing every single day. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here trying to survive. So I applaud you for surviving in your cold world of Atlantic City. You know what I'm saying? And, um, hey, what you doing next weekend? 